Hello everyone! Welcome back to Mario Kart Course Exhibition! So, we're going back to, you know, the DLC courses, Plate making Baby Mario, um, get a little Baby Mario Kart, and we're going to, oh, here the Triforce Cup, okay. So, let's get past the courses I've already mentioned before, the retro courses, they're going to Ice Ice Baby, I mean Ice Ice Outpost. Not to confuse the two, since especially considering there's not enough ice in this. Okay, so... So right off the bat, you kind of see, okay, so this is less of an ice course and more of a course with, like, literally just two paths, the course. It's like, um, you know, this game's Rainbow Road, only the entire course is just two paths, and not just like, um, okay, he's a piece of the, piece of the road, right, and just splits off after, you know, a barrel blast, whatever, or the equivalent of it. And go, go straight to two paths where you can do some really interesting sor shortcuts. Here is take that concept except put it into a put into a whole course. Okay, question mark. Okay, first question is why are the lanes green and yellow? I mean, it could have been like more relevant ice colors, or, or maybe green and yellow means something. I just don't know. Um, I don't even know, but. All, all I can see really this course is just hey, you could take either the green path or you could take the yellow path or um, hey, since you can, we gotta just drop off to another uh, section of the course, you can just do that instead. Although, if you look at the map, it's not really that much of a difference really, because they really go the same way. Maybe there is a slight difference, and I'm just a, a noob of this course. And, I, and I'm pretty sure I am. It's just that. I don't know, just like the concept, just just strange. Uh, and of course, you have points that you see the oh, the course just like uh, comes back together. That's cool and all, but uh, there you go. Now, uh, as you can see, even though the name of this course is named Ice Ice Outpost, you think that with the name being spoken twice in in the name of the course, you expect to have ice stuff in it, but there isn't. It's for, for an ice course, there is no ice physics. So, um, or at least there's no ice in the road at all. Now, for some people, this might be, like, a nice moment since, hey, just because it's, um, ice thin doesn't mean it needs to have ice physics or it needs to have, a, an ice, like, um, a nice part of it. But, I don't know, if you ask me that, it just kind of makes what ice course is different. I mean, the thing is, like, if you remove, like, the whole setting and just replace it with, I don't know, a desert course, would it be this, uh, would it function the same thematically? I'm just saying. Now, uh, not really much to say here, just, hey, it's Ice Ice Outpost, you just, uh, two paths and a snow, and a snow background, that's really it. And I got the ghost data, I need to, yeah. Anyway, uh, what do I think about this course? Holy crud, I am so bored of this. Uh, this course straight up, I can't really say much. It is boring. I'm sorry, but like, I don't know. To me, the fun of ice courses is taken away from this one here. Uh, especially considering that how it actually tried to try to get to as, as many alternate paths as possible within the three laps. And it wasn't until I started looking at it uh, in post when trying to narrate this. Uh, that there's actually some sh like like shortcuts or, or alternate paths off the alternate paths in like in the cave parts to it. I didn't even notice it at all. So I, I was trying trying too hard and okay, I'm gonna try to go to as much as I can on the green path, as much as I can on the yellow path, and just then on the third lap try to go as like what I think is a really good like um, combination of the two paths. But no, it turns out there's actually a lot more to it too. The heck am I supposed to know that? Hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's just like the fun of the ice course is taken away from this one. And I think that, I don't think anything can really save it. Because, um, yeah, maybe there's like alternate paths and stuff, but the, the, the paths themselves don't really make that much of a difference. Really, they're just, hey, they just overlap over one another, and sometimes they are parallel. But, really, that's it. I mean, it's not like, oh, hey, one path, one way, go, uh, one other path goes to, let's say, a certain section of the cave, and then another path goes, like, way off, but, like, way off, and it goes to a completely different, um, scenery, but the time, or the distance over, um, uh, both roads are the same, 
even even I drifting and everything. I'm just saying that the the, the, the course layout itself looks really boring and uh, just the whole two like two lane mechanic is just not really worth saving. It's not really not really fun and good. And the background is really meh. I mean, it's more like an ice theme park or ice park or whatever. I don't know. I just don't find it really good. So for this course, I'm giving this a boring. It is a boring course. It is a bad course. It is a B. It's, it's just no. I don't, I don't like this course at all. I hate this course. Just go next. See you next time on MKCE. Uh, whatever is next. Yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs>